what is this Ajayadi Ka Amrita Mahotsu and what are the schemes Government of India instituted? Sir, this is a scheme of the Government of India to celebrate the 75 years of independence. And government came out with many programs uh, like uh, Ek Bharat Shrestha Bharat Initiative and uh, organizing seminars, conducting essay, essay programs and uh, facilitating these conferences. So that's, uh, uh, what about Swachha Bharat? What is your opinion? Sir, it's a very good initiative, sir, uh, to bring about a change in the society. And uh, we know that due to lack of sanitation, we are losing almost around 6% of GDP, sir. I feel it's a very good stream, sir. You belong to which district? Annamaya district, sir. Annamaya district. Yes. Wonderful. Raichoti is the yes, sir, yes. Uh, headquarters. Can you tell the districts with the names of particular people? Sir, one is uh, Anamaya district. Right. Second is Sri Satyasai district. Right. Third is Dr. Vyasa district, Vyasa Karpa district, uh, Sri Putti Sri Ramlu Nellur district, uh, Sri Prakasham district, Sri NTR district, uh, Sri uh, Allur Sitaram Raju district, uh, Sri Dr. B.R. Ambedkar district, sir. Ambedkar district, whether it has been finalized or? Yes, sir, it is finalized. finalized. And you left uh, Balaji. Because he's a god. <laughs> he's not a man. No problem. No, I think only it's a draft notification oh, they will give yeah. a drug. Ambedkar, Ambedkar has not yet finalized. Final I think sir. Sir. Not yet been finalized. Not, uh, uh, sorry. Mm. You were a student of outstanding uh, contribution in 2012. And yes, you have spent about 10 years for uh, fighting for civils. Yes, sir. Achy. And uh, in between you are doing for this Vision Academy. Yes, sir. Uh, for the uh, last three years. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your opinion about this? Different types of channels and their bombardment. TV channels. Yes, sir. Uh, TV channels play a very important role in creating awareness and uh, spreading information. At the same time, they have the they have the economic viability. For that, they may be doing some bombardment, sir. What are the benefits of bifurcation of Andhra and Telangana? For Andhra Pradesh, sir, yeah, Andhra Pradesh. the benefits are it got the opportunity to rebuild itself and uh, it's a great opportunity to build as per their needs, demand. And also due to this uh, bifurcation, the administration became very much closer to the people of Andhra Pradesh and it can focus more on the regions <coughs> and, and, and also we can go for balanced and uh, decentralized development, sir. What about special category? That is not given to other Why and why it has been promised or why the dilemma? Sir, it was promised on the, uh, in the House of the Parliament by the Prime Minister himself, mm -hmm. but due to some technical constraints, mm -hmm. they might not have given, sir. Mm -hmm. Like uh, special category status, it has some certain criteria, mm -hmm. and Andhra Pradesh may not fall under any one of the criteria. What are the other states having special category? Like Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and the northeastern states. These are sir. Okay, so presently you are giving coaching to the uh, aspirants of civil service, yes, is sir. it not? So you are a lecturer of ethics. Yes, sir. Okay. So what are your strengths and weaknesses? Sir, my strengths are hmm. hardworking nature, hmm. self-motivated person, hmm. and emo emotionally intelligent person. Hmm. Weaknesses? My weaknesses, sir, sir, I am not good at artistic expression, sir. Hmm. Uh, and also, I am a little bit shy person and introvert. Mm. At the same time, I don't maintain some self-control in food discipline, sorry, food, mm. dietary habits. Achha. Second thing, have you heard of this National Herald case? Recently, Raju Gandhi has been summoned for a... Yes, sir, but mm. I did not follow the first. Yes, so I am waiting for Achha. So, why corruption in India is rampant in spite of Several institutions, several legislations have been made. Sir, we have the laws, but enforcement is the problem. Conviction rate is the problem. So, once if it is convicted, uh, corruption will come, the, come down automatically? Sir, the, if the conviction rate goes high, it will mm. create the discouragement effect, sir. It will mm. create some detriment. Mm. So, that's all, only one? No, sir. Uh, Many reasons are there. Socio-cultural mm. reasons, historical mm. reasons. Mm. and also la uh, not taking disciplinary action towards the corrupt officials, mm. the nexus between the politicians. Or what is the main system. reason for corruption in India? The corruption stems from political system or what kind of system? Uh, 
So we cannot pinpoint one system sir, particularly, no. mm. Mm, but we can say that uh, not upholding the ethical values in the administration mm. or in politics could be the main reason for mm. corruption, sir. Mm. So what kind of qualities a civil servant should have? Sir, he should be committed to the constitution of India, mm. he should uphold integrity in uh, public service, mm. he should maintain objectivity in delivering services, mm. he should also be empathetic towards the weaker sections of the society, mm. he, should be, uh, he should be a very dynamic and flexible person to serve the nation at this time. So you see, as a civil servant, we have to manage various conflicts. Yes, sir. So politician will come with certain kind of demands which are against the law, do you oblige or are you simply refuse and ready to face any kind of consequences? Sir, I will politely first try to explain him mm. uh, the reasons for not obliging that. Mm. If he does not accept it, then mm. I will ask him the return request. Mm. He gives, he in, gives writing. in writing. If he return request gives, mm. I will forward it to the concerned authorities, sir. By, you know, mm. If I am the secretary, mm. I will forward, forward it to the chief secretary, sir. No, suppose you are a RDO, deputy yes, collector. Sir. You are the recruiting, uh, you are the appointing authority for the fair pay shop dealer. Yes. Sir. That MLA comes that no, this fellow only should be selected. Question of uh, selecting any other fellow does not arise. So what you will do? I will refer it to the other uh, higher official. You won't take any action because you are the appointing authority. You have to take the decision. Then I will decline, sir. Because uh, uh, why you should refer it to higher authority? You want to throw uh, blame on him, or you want to put burden on him? Uh, you don't want to shoulder on your own, that by responsibility? Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, I will take the responsibility and I will decline it, sir. Mm. You because say that it's, uh, it's not part. possible. It, it's not possible because of these reasons, politely. But they will see that you are transferred from that place. And it is huh? part and parcel of the civil mm. services, sir. Uh. I will accept it and go, but mm. I don't commit the mistake, sir. Because mm. that will go against the ethos of the civil service. So sometimes the uh, situation arises whether to follow the rule book strictly or go out of the rule book also. So, suppose you are an RDO, you are conducting a uh, prajavani, that means people come on that day, they will tell grievance. One OC lady has come, op open community, other caste community. So she wants some financial help because she is a poor and she has no other person to support him, support her. So, there is no scheme to help her. So, how do you help that lady? Sir, with no my contacts hmm? and uh, with the no, contacts of having NGOs, hmm. I will refer that lady to that NGOs hmm. or I will take the help of some, you know, the, you know, the persons who are involved in this philanthropic or charitable activities. Hmm. I will take the help of them and I will try my level best to help her, sir. Hmm. Okay. The law should not be the hindrance to Hmm. So you will take uh, help from <coughs> NGOs who are working in that field? Working in that field, sir. Okay. Uh, if, if there is any possibility, I will refer that matter to the senior officer. Uh, senior officer referring does not serve any purpose, okay? If it is in their competency, they will do. Yes, sir. Otherwise, if it is your competency, you have to do. So civil, uh, senior officer, what, does, what will he say? How can I give it? He will also say the same thing. So, you try to solve it to your level only if you are competent enough. If senior officer is competent enough, you, then you push it to the senior officer. Otherwise, you don't push to the senior officer. So, try to solve it to your level only. Okay? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It's a very monotonous uh, career that is offering and also there is no job security. At the same time, they are offering very low pay scales. Keeping these things in mind, I try to explore the other no. options. Then I found the civil service as the best option. Pardon? Okay. Uh, Sorry. Robert schemes. Which is the best scheme for the welfare of the people as, you, as per your knowledge? Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Schemes. State government. State government schemes are uh, right to borrow schemes. Oh. Uh, sir, in uh, Andhra Pradesh is an agrarian state, and majority of the people are depending on agriculture and right.
to Barossa scheme will provide the income support. That way we can lift the agriculture incomes and thereby we can demand the industrial products and services and thereby we can create the cycle, you know, the cycle of uh, industrial development and service sector development, overall economic development. What about the landless food? Sir? Landless food issue. Yes, sir. They are they also are not getting any benefit from this scheme. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Tenant farmers are getting benefits, sir, course, but not the landless. But they will get more wages, sir. If the agricultural activity is booming, they will also get wages. They will also get employment in those areas. So indirect benefits, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Barbed strategy I and mean, uh, economic uh, survey report. Can you explain? Sorry, sir, I am not aware of it. First few region road, China, America. Yes, sir. I am just on a funny organization. Sir, China is uh, actually trying to enter into this. Uh, it's part of Trans Pacific Partnership Agreement. And recently, it is uh, trying to make pact with the Pacific island nations, uh, the small island nations. And the America is uh, doing carrying out this program called Pivot to Asia program. And recently, uh, the Quad summit took place. And also recently, they come out with the uh, Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. This and uh, some of the program. Okay. India, uh, US, China, Madhya Pradesh, India, and countries get a lot of Sir, uh, we, we also have a problem with China, sir. By be, be being a member of such groups in the Indo-Pacific region would help us to deal with China, sir, in a more effective way. If something happens, we can take the help of Japan, very industrialized and very powerful country, and the China also, uh, and the USA also, sir. That way it will help us, sir. And also economically, we can prosper by linking our supply chains and economy with the Southeast Asian and East Asian nations, sir. I will share more issues low. Uh, Islamic uh, countries. Yes, sir. Uh, Act Jason Vidana will be some of this. Uh, sir, they could have been more diplomatic. They could have raised at the diplomatic forums instead of coming out and uh, no, talking about India uh, by basing on the person's words. No, it's not the official statement of the government or any organization. They could have been more formal and diplomatic, sir. What we done in the issue? Is it right? Yes, sir. India uh, has said that uh, we don't have, that is not the official voice of the government of India. We don't want any such things. We are a very se secular country and we respect each and every religion. That's why and government has suspended them. That shows that it's not the government voice. Okay. Common civil code. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, definitely, but it requires a lot of uh, political support and uh, community support for that to happen, sir. Already we have a uniform criminal code, and, uh, and uniform civil code is there in some particular uh, states like Goa. If we bring it at the All India level, it will be definitely a good step in social reform perspective, sir. Have you read the book uh, Telugu Academy has published on ethics, ethics integrity and adaptation yes, in English? Yes, sir. Who has written it? Uh, but sorry, sir, I am not able to recall the name of the book, sir. But it's a very good book, sir. I read it. You read this, it? Sir. I have written it. Thank you, sir. Okay, we hmm. want to sum it up. Uh, you clearly explained so many issues very well. Uh, thing is that the little bit uh, uh, updation of the current affairs, particularly when I was asked about national era or case or other. Yeah, because since you told you were the ethical issue, then I asked more about the corruption related issues and other things. Okay. So be thorough on that subject. Yes. Okay. Uh, rest is okay. Nothing to bother. Hmm? Oh, Your communication is very well. Right? We wish you. All the best.